Hey guys and welcome to mission 10. In this mission we're supposed to take out a supply convoy and it's uh, traveling from this area. Uh, Going to be traveling westbound then hugging the coast going north uh, past Agios Constantinos and then it's going to arrive here at the uh, at the outpost. So I currently have my team. We're set up here in this uh, this little hut area. It's an old abandoned house, stone walls, pretty pretty well fortified. And these two uh, circles are the bombs that I've set up to hopefully uh, blow up the convoy. So most of my guys are inside that uh, inside that hut there. Just trying to keep them out of sight for now. And uh, let's keep them safe. And we'll blow up one of the uh, vehicles, hopefully the lead vehicle. That's the plan. And then I have a uh, RPG with me. And some of my other guys have RPGs as well, so we'll see how this goes. And I can hear the vehicles approaching here. Yep. Let's see those guys. Get the RPG ready. And... I set up that pole as a reference, and there's a bomb right along the uh, stone wall here, so hopefully we can catch that lead vehicle. Alright, there he is. I know he has a turret. Okay, I don't know if that vehicle's out or not. These guys are firing already. I'm going to tell my guys to open fire here. Got another vehicle there. That one does not have a turret, so it might be okay. Two down. Uh, looks like we got other vehicles approaching here. Oh, that's a supply truck. Trying to take out the driver here. And that didn't go well. Alright, so this is definitely not an easy mission. Uh, odds are stacked against us. Basically what happens is the uh, one of the hunters with or excuse me, Punishers with the uh, tort and it's a uh, remotely controlled turret inside the vehicle so it's, you know, the uh, gunner is not exposed whatsoever um, that vehicle comes along, you gotta take that out you have to preserve the supply truck and then reinforcements frequently come from the uh, from the base down there, so next, it's a pretty tough mission it actually reminds me a lot of the Operation F uh, Flashpoint or Cold War Reloaded uh, resistance campaign Pretty much the same thing. You're you're a small resistance band, and you have the odds completely stacked against you. So these are uh, quite audacious missions to complete. All right. There's the uh, supply truck. I'm try to take out the driver if we can. I'll take a fire. Come on, guys, cover me. Getting away. Alright, that truck's gone. 
And that's just the way it goes sometimes with farming. Again, it doesn't make <laughs> any excuses to try to tailor to you. It just does what it does. And whatever happens, happens. Alright, that hunter's gone. Got another one right there. Alright. Oh, taking fire. Pretty injured right now. There we go. There's the, that guy shooting at us. He's dead. All right. So even though we didn't get the supply truck, still got a nice ambush, disrupting their operations, killing some uh, some bad guys. So it's never bad. All right. Looks like most of these guys are dead. Alright, definitely time to bug out. Tell my guys to regroup. They got a truck right over there, so. That's our little bug out truck. Cover them while they move. Not sure who's shooting at us. Definitely injured here. All right, back in the truck. Let's roll out. Alright, so in another scenario, I did actually manage to <laughs> shoot the driver out, as you can see there, <laughs> and actually get the supply truck. So yeah, I think you actually have to do that in order to complete the mission. Um, and you drive it back here, and all of a sudden, our base is under attack. Somehow the enemy figured out where we were, and now we got to bug out again. And I am not waiting around to find out what happens. Is that my friends is an attack chopper? Slingshot, come in. We've got to leave that force's inbound. Over. What? How did they find our position? Hold there. Await orders. Okay, listen carefully. If you can, blow the supply truck and fall back to our camp. Go! Uh, and that's what happens. And this is a point where, honestly, armor gets really annoying at times. Um, because even though I, I really appreciate its emphasis at realism, they really just throw everything at you in these scenarios. And that hasn't changed since Operation Flashpoint or um, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Resistance campaign. It just... They create like these scenarios where they're impossible. I mean, I could understand if you had, you know, one hunter, Punisher, but have two or three of them come at you. Now you got even more. It just makes things impossible. And you got an attack helicopter on top of that.
There's not a whole lot you can do. Slingshot, come in. We've got CSAT forces inbound. Over. What? How did they find our position? Hold there. Await orders. Okay, listen carefully. If you can, blow the supply truck and fall back to our camp. Go! And that helicopter's lighting up that <laughs> that area right there. So you pretty much have two options. You can run or you can hide in a building until nightfall. Maybe these helicopters will go away, run out of fuel or something. So I guess to be fair, it is ultra realistic, and that's what Arm is going for. But it does get quite annoying when they throw everything they got at you. Let's run for my life here. So it just becomes a matter of luck, as it is about skill and these crazy uh, situations. So you get crazy and you try something dumb like. Trying an RPG at a helicopter, why not? Which of course doesn't work. <laughs> or maybe sometimes you luck out. And it does work. Yeah, how do you like me now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll save this one for that guy. Wow, that was truly an epic moment in Arma history. <laughs> Uh oh, we got company. I'm hearing breaks. Oh. <laughs> Alright, seriously, the smart thing to do after that is to bug out. No, they shot my tire out. Great. Oh, here we go. Oh man, this is just pure survival now. Come on, door interaction. Might as well hide for a little bit. I got another helicopter to deal with there. <laughs> they blew up my ride. That's not nice. Alright, might as well do this, right? Commandeer this vehicle. See if this guy gets a little closer. 
Alright, let's see if I can get this guy. Alright, I'm not sure who in the world is shooting at me here. Is it that guy? Oh no. Wow, that was awesome. Alright, I know that Punisher's coming back here. See if I can get him. I guess I know what happened to the rest of my guys. Man, this is a steep hill. And I really love the uh, physics engine in this. That really models momentum and things like that. You can't just stop on a dime anymore. You gotta actually break ahead of time just like a real vehicle. It's very nice. Yeah, so you know, part of the reason why people... I, I think generally people are hesitant to play the campaign is because in true OFP style... <laughs> It's insanely difficult, even with the accuracy turned down and everything else. It's not so much the the uh, accuracy of the enemy AI or anything like that. It's more the just everything they throw at you: helicopters, you know, a bunch of armored vehicles with turrets on them, things like that. But this this mission does remind me of the. Uh, Original Operation Flashpoint, 
or uh, Cold War Reloaded, which I'm playing now, where you're in the forest and trying to get away from everything. It's kind of like that. I just wish they want to make it so difficult. And I know they're going for realism, and it makes sense. I mean, a uh, conventional army would throw everything that they have at you. Tanks, helicopters, infantry, whatever they got. They're going to try to annihilate that small guerrilla force. But it is, I mean, sometimes it gets too much and it gets quite frustrating playing the campaign. It's still kind of fun, though, because you, you do want to survive and keep playing it until, until it works out. Yeah, that's a really nice raid, by the way. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that. See you guys next time.